Did you ever climb a tree when you were a kid? Or maybe you had a favorite tree growing up that you picked fruit from or daydreamed beneath endlessly. Trees often are an important part of our memories, the sheer size of them, the smell of their annual blossoms, or the taste of their sweet fruit. But we bet you didn't hang around trees like these. Sometimes these specimens are rare and can only be found in a foreign country like Namibia's bottle tree. Or they're extremely poisonous, like the fabled suicide tree. Or they can be deadly, like a tree toasted by a flash of lightning. Approach with caution. Here are 15 of the most dangerous trees you should never touch. So no one knows how old they are, but probably at least 700 years. The reason why they are called dragon blood tree. <laughs> Number 15. Lightning Tree on Fire We're starting out with a bang, or maybe a flash of light, or both. Lightning typically comes with rolling thunder, but more importantly, what did this tree ever do to lightning? Clearly, the flash of electricity had an advantage because recently a tree struck by lightning began to burn from inside. Flames billowed out of the tree trunk after it was struck by lightning during a thunderstorm. The trunk appeared to have been almost entirely hollowed out by the fire as if burned from the inside out, with flames burning at the base of the trunk near to the roots protruding from the ground. The blaze is glowing through the opening in the fire, and that part of the tree is seen gradually turning into ashes. Many on the web compared it to the great eye from the Lord of the Rings movie franchise. However, that pales in comparison to this very real phenomenon, Mother Nature's power and precision in all its electric glory. There are many things about extreme weather which, even in the 21st century, are still a mystery. Nature always finds a way to shock us, and some of these things are so rare that it becomes hard to believe. But trees are often destroyed by lightning strikes around the globe. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. Silk Floss Tree this delicious silk floss tree is a tree icon. Reaching a height of over 50 feet, you can find them in their native tropics of Brazil and Argentina. During the autumn months, the tree bears lovely funnel-shaped pink flowers that completely cover the canopy, followed by woody pear-shaped 8-inch seed pods. The bark of these trees is covered in thick thorns for extra protection. The tree has hibiscus-like flowers that make it look very distinct with a bright pink color. The fruits have bean-sized black seeds and large seed pods that contain large quantities of cotton fiber. At one time, this floss was used to pad life jackets and pillows, while thin straps of floss silk's bark were used to make rope. The cotton fibers are often used to stuff the inside of things, such as pillows. They also have a hydrophobic property that allows it to be used in the material that goes into life preservers and used in the upholstery of many automobiles. Southern American tribes would often use the water-resistant bark to make canoes for themselves. And today, silk floss trees are used along highway or median paving strips, residential streets, as feature plants or shade trees on luxury properties. Number 13. The Manchineel Tree Even though it grows throughout Southern North America, Central America, and the Caribbean, it's often accompanied by cautionary signs and a bright red band painted around its trunk as a warning to all who pass by. This tree is dangerous. The local authorities will paint a red band around them, warning everyone steer clear. The manchineel tree is toxic. There is no part that's not poisonous, from the fruit and the sap to the stems. So beware, there are few more plants around the globe as dangerous. Even when it's raining, the drops of water can transfer toxins easily to passerbys. Burning manchineel bark can release poisonous ash to the air as well, causing irritation, even blindness. The local tribes would use the toxin to poison their arrows and in a really savage move, used to tie captives to the manchineel tree for a slow, painful death. So this tree lives up to its deadly reputation easily, and it's easy to confuse it with a common apple tree, as the fruit, called the beech apple and foliage of the plant resemble those of apple trees. It's also been referred to as the little apple of death. Don't be tempted to take a bite. Beware of the manchineel tree. Number 12. Cerbera odalum It's a species native to India and other parts of southern Asia, growing preferentially in coastal salt swamps and in marshy areas. However, this plant, dubbed the suicide tree, kills many people. Although the kernels of the tree have a bitter taste, this can be disguised if they're crushed and mixed with spicy food. They contain a potent heart toxin called cerberin. 
found in the foxglove. It kills by blocking calcium ion channels in heart muscles, which disrupts the heartbeat. Common symptoms include burning sensations, vomiting, respiration problems, headache, irregular heartbeat, coma, and eventual death. A fatal dose of the poison is contained in one kernel. A toxicology team documented more than 500 cases of fetal cerbera poisoning between 1989 and 1999. Half of the plant poisoning deaths and one in 10 of all fatal poisonings were the result of consuming it. But the true number of deaths could be twice that. Doctors, pathologists, and coroners are failing to detect how often it's used to murder people. But it does have positive usages too. The fruits are used for manufacturing bioinsecticides, deodorants, and in the production of biodiesel. Number 11. The Devil's Tree of New Jersey This tree stands all alone in the middle of a large field off Mountain Road in the Jersey State. Known as the Devil's Tree, the oak is believed to have dark powers. According to local lore, the tree's cursed origins lie in lynchings that took place on its branches. Bernard's Township and the surrounding Somerset County have an alleged history of social injustice. The Ku Klux Klan had a strong presence in that area in the 1920s, including large rallies and cross burnings. Is the Devil's Tree haunted? Numerous suicides and murders occurred around the Devil's Tree. Supposedly, the souls of those killed at the spot give the tree an unnatural warmth. In winter, the ground beneath the tree is allegedly free from snow, no matter how much has fallen. It's said to be warm to the touch regardless of the season, and even more extreme, some believers think it's a portal to hell. The tree is a popular spot though and unfortunately bears the scars to prove it. A local family once tried to guard it, chasing visitors away in their pickup, which just gave rise to the legend of a ghost truck that guards the tree. Devils? Ghosts? Certainly this did not help the tree's reputation. Number 10. The Vines of Wisteria Wisteria is a vining plant with cascades of blue to purple flowers that look spectacular. However, this vine is a vast and aggressive grower, often reaching 30 plus feet long and is known to grow quite heavy. Wisteria vines will work their way into any crook or nanny they can reach, so it's advised to not plant them too near to your home. Wisteria flowers are beautifully fragrant though, providing a feast for the senses. After flowering, a brown bean-shaped pod stays on the plant until winter. Blooms only appear on new growth, but remember, plant wisteria with caution. All parts of the wisteria plant contain substances called lectin and wisterin, which are toxic to pets, livestock, and humans. The seed pods and seeds are considered the most toxic parts of the plant, which can cause a burning sensation in the mouth, stomach pain, and digestion problems if swallowed. These symptoms can last for up to two days once they develop. Wisteria is native to China, Korea, Japan, and the eastern United States and in Hollywood. Remember Wisteria Lane, the scandalous suburban setting in the Desperate Housewives TV show? This plant can be as dangerous as the characters in that series. Number nine, the dead Burmese tree. Despite being dead since the 1970s, this tree still stands in the same spot it has for the past 700 years. However, death did not deter this local monument. It became a landmark in the area this limber pine stands on top of a low stony ridge near the site of the former town of Burmis, near Bellevue, Alberta, Canada, maintained since its death by devoted locals who see the tree as a monument to days gone by. Perhaps people are superstitious about the legendary tree. However, the town of Burmis is no more, but that doesn't stop thousands of tourists from stopping to see this iconic pine every year. It's said that the Burmis tree is the most photographed tree in Canada, the subject of many paintings, poems, and songs. And no matter what, through all the ups and downs, the spinely Burmese tree stood strong until it died in 1978. And when a storm in 1998 knocked the famous tree over, it was placed back upright and given supports to make sure it stayed standing. When someone sawed off one of the tree's long branches, concerned locals glued the branch back on. This may be the most beloved dead tree in the world. Number 8. La Chine Chapelle it's lived through the French Revolution and incredibly is still standing. Located in a small farming village in France, according to local lore, the tree is said to have begun growing a thousand years ago during the reign of Charlemagne. And locals swear that William the Conqueror prayed at the base of the tree in the 11th century before heading out to battle. While scientists say the tree is only around 800 years old, it is nonetheless by far the oldest known tree in France. In the 1600s, disaster struck. The oak tree was struck by lightning, 
burning right through its center and hollowing out the trunk. However, the tree survived. So with help from a local priest, they decided they wanted to build a shrine to the Virgin Mary directly into the hollow of the tree. And eventually, a small chapel and a spiral staircase climbing the outside of the tree was added on. This ancient oak tree's hollowed out trunk is now home to two small chapels and reached by a spiral staircase wrapping around the trunk. Now held up by poles, part of the 33-foot trunk has died, but locals still gather twice a year to celebrate Mass and the amazing tree chapel is still an annual destination for the Feast of the Assumption of the Virgin. Number 7. Tane Mahuda If you want to see a real giant, visit the rainforest of Waipua on New Zealand's North Island. These kauri forests have been around about 190 million years and the name of this giant is the Tane Mahuda, god of the forest and it's one of the largest kauri trees in the world. It's the largest by volume but not the tallest tree in New Zealand. It's the biggest existing kauri with a girth of 45.2 feet, a trunk height of 58 feet, a total height of 168 feet and a total volume including the crown of 18,247 cubic feet. These trees were used for timber for boat building, carving and building horses. The gum was used as a fire starter and for chewing. According to the locals, it exists because of a god called Sky Father and the Earth Mother Goddess. Their legendary union birthed Tane Mahuda. New Zealand is infamous for its lush, dynamic terrain and unique rainforest. The remote island country is a favorite film site for famous movies like Lord of the Rings and King Kong. The trees were depleted by logging and the few giants that remain are threatened. Today, visitors have to hose their shoes and make sure no soil is on their clothes before entering the rainforest. Number 6. The Mysterious Angel Oak Tree Places like this really add to the mystique of historical regions. These trees are native to the lowest parts of America's coastal Carolinas. Believed to be up to 500 years old, the Angel Oak gets its name from the former plantation it stands on, called Angel Estate. However, local legend says that the tree is very haunted. People claim that the ghosts of former plantation workers roam the lands around the tree, which has only made visiting it even more popular, and for good reason. It's six stories tall, 28 feet wide, and its crown provides 17,000 square feet of shade. This angel oak is incredibly durable and strong, and although it suffered some damage by Hurricane Hugo in 1989, it survived many natural disasters, hurricanes, floods, even earthquakes and the angel oak shows no signs of slowing down and continues to grow. At first glance, there's nothing angelic looking about this creepy tree. It's like something out of a nightmare fairy tale. However, this native species of Charleston, South Carolina is considered to be one of the oldest trees east of the Mississippi River. Angel's oak has survived a lot. It's therefore accurate to assume that the tree will live for many generations to come. Number 5. Bottle Trees of Namibia this shapely species can grow to up to 20 feet tall and is characterized by the thick bottle-shaped trunk. And just like all useful empty bottles in the desert, it fills up with water to help Namibia's bottle tree survive the desert-like conditions. But don't refill your water bottle just yet, it's also full of poison. Yet the plant produces a watery latex rich in toxic alkaloids. The poison is so effective that hunters in the region used to smear the sap on their arrows just to add that extra sting when taking down prey. The bottle trees of Namibia are a species of plant whose name is derived from the 19th century geologist Fernando de Costa Leo, who described the bottle tree during an exploration in the area. The bottle tree is an endemic species to the region of Africa where it occupies the semi-desert areas, usually along rocky hillsides. The branches are few and far between, covered by slender thorns and the leaves are coated with short hairs on both surfaces. Around May to November, the leaves will drop off growing surprisingly extravagant flowers. You can enjoy the blossoms in the springtime, clustered around the tips of the branches. Namibia's bottle trees attract many curious plant lovers from around the world. Number 4. The Skeletal Deadfly Trees The name Deadfly literally translates to mean Dead Valley as it's located in one of the harshest climates on Earth and a valley between the tallest dunes in the world. Nowadays, the temperature is so dry in this part of Namibia that the trees remaining cannot properly decompose and the desert sun cooked them into the sand, like blackened bones never to vanish from the earth. Now all that remains are 900-year-old tree skeletons trapped in a white clay marsh set against red rusted dunes and a brilliant blue sky. While Deadfly is now a dry desert land, it once contained a flowing river and housed many trees and plant life. 
The pan was formed when a nearby river flooded and the abundance of water allowed camel thorn trees to grow. However, the climate changed and the sand dunes encroached on the pan, blocking the river from reaching the area. And now it only hosts the skeletons of the trees which once reigned in the valley. And yeah, it's kind of creepy. The land itself is quite unbelievable and at night, Devli has some of the clearest skies in the world. Even in its surreal, out-of-this-world appearance, it's known as being the most beautiful dead place on Earth. Number 3. The Tool Tree This tree's existence has been chronicled for more than 1,500 years by both the Aztecs and the Spanish that founded the region it grows in. So the Tree of Tool is iconic, has become a local spiritual symbol and a popular place of pilgrimage. And yeah, it is really, really old. In the heart of Santa Maria del Tool in Mexico, the famous Montezuma Cypress is located right in the center of town. In fact, the entire town appears to be built around this particularly large cypress. Once thought to have resulted from a merger between multiple trees, modern DNA analysis has confirmed that the tree is, in fact, a single individual. Measurements of its circumference, as reported by various sources, vary from 137 feet to over 170 feet. But if you lined up in connected hands, arms outstretched, it would take up to 50 people to encircle it. One great big tree hug. In its knots and crooks, visitors have found likenesses of human faces, lions, jaguars, elephants, and a variety of other mythical creatures. And as you can imagine, the tree is still growing. The community goes to great lengths to preserve this historic landmark. Number 2. The Dragon's Blood Tree once at the heart of ancient silk and spice trading routes between the Arab world, Africa and Asia, this island lies in the middle of one of the world's most important oil trading channels. With its crimson resin and dense crown of prehistoric leaves, the dragon's blood tree is a beloved symbol of the Arabian Sea and its parent country of Yemen, where it lives within remnants of prehistoric dragon's blood forest on granite mountains and limestone plateaus. In Arabic, the tree is known as the blood of the two brothers. These trees and their blood were well known in trade before 60 AD, and the dyed dragon's blood became very popular around the world. No matter that, in eras gone by, Greek and Arab sailors connected this peculiar and plentiful land with paradise. Some even regarded the land as part of the lost mythical continent of Atlantis. The dragon's blood tree looks right at home here, and it's the source of much superstition, but ultimately is revered throughout the region. So, the dragon's blood tree only adds to the island's unique qualities. Its strange looks and ancient age belly a species expertly adapted to its environment. Number 1. The Banyan Tree The first Europeans to encounter these trees were Alexander the Great and his army. The notes they took back to Greece and formed Theophrastus, the founder of modern botany, and also led 17th century English poet John Milton to write Paradise Lost. Some people even believe that Adam and Eve made their first clothes from banyan trees, so needless to say, this tree has deep roots. A banyan tree is a fig tree that begins its life as an epiphyte, a plant that grows on another plant, when its seed germinates in a crack or crevice of a host tree. They're ecologically quite significant, producing vast crops of figs that sustain many species of birds, fruit bats, primates, and other creatures, which in turn disperse the seeds of hundreds of other plant species. The banyan is one of more than 750 species of fig trees, each of which is also pollinated by its own species of tiny wasps that breed only inside the figs of the iconic plant. In terms of the area they cover, banyans are the world's biggest trees. The biggest one alive today is in the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh. It covers 4.7 acres and can shelter 20,000 people. That's a big old banyan. <laughs> 